Wireless routers really work uh, based on the connection coming from the internet, uh, which will be through your cable modem or DSL modem from the WAN port. And what it does is it takes the one address that your ISP gives you, whether it be Comcast or uh, Bell South or whoever, uh, and it takes that IP address and translates it to a private network. So in essence, it's like saying, okay, we're going to give you one uh, address, but in actuality you can have as many addresses inside your your home as you want. Kind of like disguising um, all your computers as just one to your to your uh, ISP, whether it be like I said, Comcast or, or a DSL company uh, like Bell South, AT and T. A wireless uh, router basically takes that that private address, that private pool that that uh, is being disguised to your ISP, and basically broadcast it throughout your house and any device that's within range that receives the broadcast can get on that private network and surf the internet uh, based on the router's powers uh, to send the information from the internet across that private address pool. So that's basically how it works. There are um, four types of, uh, it's called 802.11, that's the wireless technology. And then uh, the four types are A, B, G, and N. N is very new. Um, it's pretty much approved. It's not approved 100%, but it's it's being sold right now. Let's say that. And N reaches by far uh, the, the longest distance and the most throughput. G is the next one down, and it can reach very far, say, you know, a two-story house. These all function by radio waves that bounce off the walls. So if you were to keep that in mind, you, when you deploy this wireless router, you need to make sure that it's not being blocked by any obstruction. Uh, in my, my case, I have a big load-bearing wall that blocks a lot of my signals, even 20 feet into my living room. So you want to keep that in mind, too, when you deploy a wireless router.